Is it just me or is it a bit warm in here? I think you're right. It is a little warm. Oh no! Twin Pop melted into a puddle in two sticks. I just don't understand what it could be. The thermostat's turned way down. Big trouble, you guys! This knife is like a thousand degrees, and he's chopping everything in sight! I'm not worried. I have my Renfair chain meal to protect me. And I've got my cat-like reflexes to keep me safe! Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ow. <laughs> and I have the power of love! Yay! Marshmallow, don't do it! Hello there, Mr. Thousand Degree Knife! I'm Marshmallow! Would you like to be my friend? Uh... Marshmallow, are you okay? Sure am! And best of all, I got this cool new androgynous haircut! Yay! Okay. Orange, look out! Ah! Oh man, this thousand degree knife can cut through anything! Well, it can't cut through the Sword of Kitchenshire! The Sword of Kitchenshire was forged in the depths of. Oh, guys, it definitely can cut through the Sword of Kitchenshire! Ah! Our only hope is to pull that knife down somehow! Did somebody say cool? No! I'm serious! We need to literally make that knife colder or we're all doomed! If only there was somewhere in the kitchen that was extremely cold! You mean like the freezer? Exactly! Thanks, Marshy! That was a really great idea! Turns out this isn't hair on my head! My brain just grew a bunch! <laughs> Orange, lure the thousand degree knife into the freezer and chill him out! You got it! Hey! Why so heated? <laughs> uh... Cat-like reflexes! Oh, he's good. Very cat-like. Hey, knife! Hey! Hey, thousand degree knife! Hey! What? Maybe you should have stayed home today. It looks like you have a temperature. <laughs> That's it. Cat-like reflexes! Cat-like reflexes! Cat-like reflexes! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> Let me out! It's... it's so cold in here! No way, dude! You stay in there until you chill out! <laughs> Orange! You did it! I sure did! And it's all thanks to Marshmallow's quick thinking and my cat-like reflex- <laughs> What's happening? Why is it happening right in the middle of my bubble bath? It's a tornado siren! Quick! Turn on the news! An F5 tornado is cutting its way through the city, and it could be headed for the kitchen. With more, we go to Pineapple in the field. Thanks, Tom. I'm not really sure I should be out here. Ow! But I guess this is what wins Emmys. What do you see, Pineapple? What's going on? Well, the tornado is super huge. It's changing course at random, and... Oh, it appears to be heading toward... Oh. My. Pineapple, what is it? It just took out a knife factory, Tom! Oh, this is bad. I gotta get out of here! Stay strong, Pineapple. We need you covering this tornado. This is no tornado, Tom. It's cooked up hundreds, possibly thousands of knives from factories just wrecked. We're dealing with a full-blown knife NATO! And now, uh, we go to Byron with sports. Uh, thanks, Tom. The Cleveland Rounds, like, suck. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You heard him. That knife NATO could be here any minute. What do we do? 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 Everyone relax. We have a tornado cellar for this exact type of situation. Whoa, really? Whew, that's a relief. You sound surprised, Orange. Sure am. I thought there was no way we'd have the foresight to make a tornado cellar. I figured we'd blow it for sure. <laughs> Orange, last year we tasked you with building the cellar. Um, what? You didn't build the tornado shelter? Where did all the money we gave you go? Um... Definitely not towards these sweet kicks and chains. You don't have feet or a neck. Guys, I hate to break this up, but... Knife NATO! Okay. 
participate in the limo contest. That would be cheating. <laughs> Guys, don't look now, but I think the knife NATO is headed for another factory. Hopefully not another knife factory. Worse, it's a squash factory. No! Oh! one more time. I've already told you like a thousand times. Why don't you believe me? Well, you are, you know. A ginger? Yeah. Will gingers have souls? Nuh-uh. Do so? Nope. You're thinking of nutmeg. Ginger! No. Yes! No. No? What do you mean, no? Who said that? Nah. Hold on a second. I gotta take this. What's going on, Pear? This stupid game isn't working. It's not giving me a Yahtzee. That's not Yahtzee. It's not? No, it's Scrabble. It's not Scrabble, Orange. That isn't chess, is it? No. Is it Connect 4? Connect 4? Really? It kind of looks like Connect 4. It's not Connect 4. It's gotta be shoots and ladders. No. Oh, I know. It's checkers. No, it's not. Jenga? No, it's not Jenga. Oh, I know. Hey, let's ask Ginger. Hey, hey, Ginger. <gasps> hey, dudes. This, um, isn't what it looks like. Oh, whoa, whoa, I'm, I'm not gonna hurt you, little guy. Yeah, tell that to Ginger. Is that who this was? Man, poor little fella was really juicy. Yeah, but it's not like he had a soul. <laughs> what are you talking about? The dude was here, and now he's not. That's awful. Actually, thanks to you, he's here and there. <laughs> dude, that is not funny. <laughs> You're a real cut-up, you know that? <laughs> well, I, I know what this looks like, but just because I'm a razor-sharp strip of stainless steel doesn't mean I want to hurt anybody. Wow, I've never seen this side of you before. <laughs> I'm telling you, Orange, it's lonely being a knife. Every time I get close to someone, they wind up getting cut in half. Do you know what that's like? Um... This one time I julienned a tuna can in three seconds flat. It was awful. Geez, sounds like you're really on edge. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I guess you're not the sharpest knife in the drawer, are you? <laughs> Buddy, don't even get me started on those guys. If my atomic number is 56, then my name is what? Barium. Very good. No more easy ones, guys. Now, if a train leaves Baltimore, wow, and I thought you were dull. <laughs> dull? Who said I'm dull? I did, just now. Not so loud, man. Do you know what happens to a dull knife? He goes on a lot of first dates? <laughs> no, dude, he gets a little visit from the sharpener. Ooh, is he like the equalizer? No, the sharpener is harder than a rock. And do you know what he does? He sharpens little fools like you. <laughs> Who said that? Wasn't me. Me either. Oh, come on, that was totally a Yahtzee. It wasn't me. What about him? Who? Sharpener. Not again! What's wrong, little guy? Think I'm gonna rub you the wrong way? No! <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> that guy really knows how to make a point. <laughs> Ooh, ow. Now that was a close shave. <laughs> wow, I almost feel bad for knife. Jeez. Hey, I think I finally got this stupid thing working. Hey, what's going on, Pear? 
I think it's trying to tell us something, Orange. Well, what the? G I N G? Oh, oh, it's spelling Jenga. What's going on? See, I told you gingers have souls. Suck it, Orange. Ah! Little apple. Orange? Hey, over here. A little to your left. <laughs> I have a secret I need to tell you. I just found out that I have a sixth sense. A sixth sense? What? What do you mean? You see dead people? Oh, oh my god, 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 oh my god. <gasps> no, of course I can't see dead people, little apple. That's ridiculous. Oh, good. My sixth sense is that I can annoy dead people. <laughs> Here, watch. <laughs> Boating, would you? Some of us are trying to rest in peace down here. Strawberry? But, but he d died like 600 episodes ago. Of course he did. <laughs> I said I could annoy dead people, didn't I? Watch this. Hey, <laughs> it. Yeah, stop it or we'll like totally haunt you. I'd like to seed you try. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Orange is a tough guy, eh? Well, buckle up, pal. We're totally going to haunt you now. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? You two don't look very scary to me. <laughs> Orange! Grr, that's it! Yeah? Would you say it's the last straw, Barry? <laughs> you asked for it. You're totally getting haunted, bro. <laughs> So what do you want to do? Should we start a band? Orange, aren't you the least bit worried? Well, I mean, sort of. If starting a band was easy, everyone would do it. I mean about those dead berries coming back. Oh, nah, not really. Although dead berries would be a great band name. I'm gonna jot that down. Orange, listen to me. We could get haunted at any moment and you're over here talking about <laughs> Yeah, that was a mistake. <laughs> it's 
Not too much, is it? Are you kidding? It's great. Yeah, you look just like Miss Pac-Man. <laughs> har har, can it, dude? I just want to look fly for my date. You want to look like a fly? You should just wing it. <laughs> no, Orange. He wants to look good for the double date. Pear's dating two ladies? Wow! No, Orange. You and Passion are going on a double date with me and my new lady friend. What? Me and Passion? Huh? I'm not in love. Double date? <laughs> Whatever. You're crazy. This isn't a double date. That's a double date. Oh, looking fly, boy. <laughs> not them. Our double date. We talked about this. Hey, dude, would you want to take Passion on a double date? Huh? Yeah, whatever. I can't talk right now. I'm busy alphabetizing my TNT collection. Okay, sounds good. Later. But that's not fair. I wasn't paying attention. I was so busy. <sighs> well, Pear, I can't wait to meet, uh, well, wait, what is she again? Well, I don't actually know. We met online. Her name is Pairing, so I'm guessing she's probably a... Knife? <laughs> no, ha ha. Don't be ridiculous. Knife! <laughs> Whoa! Mm -hmm. Well, hello there. Gulp. And I was like, that's crazy. Because my name is Pairing, which is just like Pear, but with an ing. Isn't that totally crazy? Hmm, it's more like psycho. <laughs> Orange. Ugh, quiet down. I'm trying to get to know my new BF. Hey, no fair. Pear's my best friend. <laughs> that's not what BF means. <laughs> oh, oh, you. That's uh, quite the sense of humor you got there. <sighs> well, duh. You don't have to tell me that I'm funny. So, uh, pairing, do you have any hobbies or interests or... And done. Oh, sorry. I was just changing my relationship status. Oh, and I uploaded a picture. <laughs> Isn't she great? Oh, as long as I'm here, I'll just change yours too, honey. Just as soon as I get done reading this email from your mom. Wait, did you hack into my profile? Wow, she really is sharp. <laughs> well, that's not cool. You can't just... What? That honey? Um, well, uh... I think Pear's just trying to say that there's good sharing and then there's bad sharing. And well... Oh, back off, sister. I am not sharing my pear with anybody. You go, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, dude, that's not helping. Honey, is he... Whoa! Hey guys, I know. Why don't we just play a game? Huh? Oh, please, yes. Yes, that is a great idea. I'm really good at operation. <laughs> um, how, how about... Oh, oh, motorboat! No, Orange, that's not a good idea. Ugh, what the heck? Ah! No, no, stop! Stop! Yay! Did I win or was it a tie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, oh. oh my god, that was so much fun. I just love spending time with you. Yeah, yeah, that was a good time. Uh, I'm having fun as well. <laughs> What's the matter, Pear? Get a little hot under the collar? <laughs> Don't worry, baby. I feel the same way. Hey, hey, Pear! If you guys get engaged, would Pairing be your fiancé? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, but that was actually funny. <laughs> yes, yes, of course I'll marry you, Pear. Oh, we're going to be so happy forever. Oh, my God. Oh, this isn't happening. What's that, honey? I said, no, okay? This is crazy. You're a knight and I'm a fruit. We're not getting married. We're not even going out and furthermore, you're insane. Wow. Guess I read that one all wrong. Nice one, Pear. Way to let her down easy. I just feel so sad. Oh, no, 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 no. Look, look, look. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, it's just that... Okay, please stop. You're gonna rust. And when I get sad, I get... I get angry. Uh-oh. And when I get angry, I get savvy. Okay, oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. I, I, I take it all back. I take it all back. Yay! I knew you guys would make up. Parent, pairing, sitting in a tree. K-N-I-F-I-N-G. Are you mocking me? Ah! First comes love, then comes marriage. Orange, shut up. Then comes midget apple in a baby carriage. Watch out! This thing doesn't have any brakes! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! Well, I've heard of a fork in the road, but never a knife. <laughs>
<laughs> Did that baby carriage just explode? <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a long story. Well, can you just give us the short version? <laughs> oh, little Apple, I don't know how to thank you. You totally saved my life. Well, you could start by introducing me to your little friends over there. That is just what I need. <laughs> Agree to this? Hey! Aww. Thanks, you guys. I try. <laughs> Merry <laughs> Christmas, everyone! Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, Orange! Oh, hear that? You know what they say. Every time a bell rings, an angel clips its wings! That's right! Wait, 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 wait. I thought it was gets its wings. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Oh, no! That sounds awfully pleasant by comparison, but come here! You should see this! An angel food cake. Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Yeah, you do not want to be an angel food cake around Christmas time. It's a bloodbath out there. Well, buckle up, because the clock tower is about to strike 12. Ah! Oof. Ah! Ah! understand why this is happening. Why are the knives summoned by bells? Excuse me, coming through, folks. Would you knock that off? Ow. <laughs> hey, bicyclists have a right to the road, too, you carbon-spewing earth murderer. Shut up, Granola! Well, Merry Christmas to you, too. Guys, we need to stop these bells from ringing. Hey, -ho, did I hear someone call for bell delivery? No! We want to get rid of the bells! Oh, so uh, just to be clear, you do not want this crate full of uh, 1,000 bells? No! Alrighty then, let me just uh, take this back to the old hermit. Oh, 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 whoopsie! Ah! Okay, enough with the bells! Innocent angel food cakes are getting maimed out there left and right! Well, that's terrible! And on Christmas? Seems like we could use a little holiday cheer. Yeah, you know what? Not a bad idea, Orange. You're right. It's Christmas, and I, I should be looking at what's right in the world instead of focusing on everything that's wrong. Glad to hear it. And in the spirit of Christmas, the kitchen's third grade class has prepared a program. I think you'll all enjoy it. <laughs> You expect me to do that when angel food cake crumbs are literally obscuring the window glass? It's easy! Instead of thinking about bad things, think of all the presents you're getting! Yay! Oh, that reminds me! 
It's time to open a present. Which one to go with? Hmm. Pick the long one. Pick the tall one. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go with the one that looks like a gigantic bell. No! <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna go with this huge one over here. Oh, thank goodness. What is it, Orange? Yeah, what'd you get? It's... It's a crate full of a thousand bells. What? Oh, it's just what I wanted. Thanks, guys. Oh, this'll give me an excuse to use my new forklift that I'm really bad at driving. 